Well, greetings and salutations. How's everyone doing? So, I'm um, decided to come back and do another episode on Star Trek, the original series. So, this is, I'm talking about episode 2 of season 1, Charlie X. So, in the episode, um, the Enterprise picks up a young, a uh, young teenager, uh, who has spent most of his life isolated and alone on a planet, uh, who has powers and basically he's unable to control them well not really able to control them basically um he can control them but he just does whatever he wants to basically from what I got from it was um in a way if you had a teenager with powers and like you know like like emotions going crazy rejection and all that stuff and for the most part, the acting is good. I like the fact that Captain Kirk, uh, Kirk had a bit of this, like, you know, almost father figure to Charlie. And uh, he's Felix like, say, well, you know, I'm having to tell like, this kid, like, say, no, nah, you don't, you don't act like this around with me. You don't do what you did. You know, because he's never, because he... He's never been around one of women. He's never been around other people. And whenever he wants, whenever he does things, people he doesn't like, it's he blasts them away. Um, this, in a way, this episode also kind of remind me of the Twilight Zone episode. I mean, yeah, Twilight Zone. Um, it's a good life. Uh, where with you know, um, Anthony, the little boy who, you know. Puts people in the, uh, cornfield. And, um, like, so, like, you kind of get the feeling that, you know, like, you feel bad for Charlie when he gets sent away to the plant to be alone. But at the same time, you realize, like, you know, like, like, what if the uh, had fate had changed? What if Charlie had learned to control his powers? What if he had become part of the... A crew of the Enterprise. That would have been an, kind of an interesting idea to, you know, just have this super-powered kid. Um, who with mind powers and can do things like, you know, teleport people away. But then again, suddenly you have this overpowered character that is going to be there for remainder of the show. So, you know, it's good that they got rid of him. And, you know, had to... Like this, the whole like saying the gods, these green headed, this green headed god alien creature who says like, we didn't, we had to give him these powers because, and if he does not use the powers, he shall die. And so yeah, that's kind of interesting. Um, and also the fact that after Charlie gets uh, rejected by Janice. You know, he goes crazy, and then he thinks, like, say, you know, I'm going to have everyone go away. So, yeah, like, the most, most of, like, what I got from this episode was the idea of, like, you know, teenage angst and all that. So, and, you know, like, some of the ideas, like, like, the whole idea of, like, it... Like, you know, it kind of did remind, like, say, the idea of, like, you know, uh, of the tw Twilight Zone episode, mostly just because, you know, you have this teenager who is, can have these powers to do all these things. So, um, yeah, it, it's kind of sad that, you know, Charlie can't stay with the, the crew of the Enterprise, but, you know... He has to be. He has to be with these people because you know he. They're gonna train him to be able to control their powers, even though they don't love. Well, they don't have the knowledge to be able to show him the affection he needs to sh to be able to learn from others and all that. So yeah, I thought it was a good episode. But what do you think of the episode Charlie X? Uh, keep in mind, like I said, this is my first time watching these episodes, so if I do not have the same, get the same perspective for you, 
I mean, yeah. I mean, if you ha if you interpret this episode a different way, then that's great. I mean, it's all subjective, but at the same time, I'm kind of getting into this show so far. But, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do all that stuff, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.